All right, what up tubers? TJ here with another video. So I was getting a massive amount of requests to do a humidor tour um, of all the cigars I got in here. And I mean a ton of requests. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out right now. Um, so we left off before first class humidors. Uh, they really made things right. Um, this is where I got this humidor from, firstclasshumidors.com. They initially messed up and sent me the wrong, or they sent me a, a cigar oasis that uh, wouldn't fit in this humidor. However, they made things right. They sent me the Cigar Oasis Ultra 2.0, which is amazing, by the way. If you haven't seen it, go watch my other videos. Um, so, one thing I'm, I'm not impressed, and I mentioned this in my last video, was the Caliber 4R uh, hygrometer here on the front. So right now it says we're at 72% uh, humidity, whereas my internal hygrometer says we're at 70% uh, humidity. Um, and I have the uh, Cigar Oasis 2.0 set to 70%. So I got two things on the inside saying it's 70 the 4R saying 70, 73 now, um, so I am not liking this uh, caliber 4R. I was getting a lot of flack about um, saying the 4R is inaccurate and everything, and there you go, there's, there's proof there. So anyways, I uh, still have my old humidor here to the left, and um, that will be moving into my office here pretty soon, probably in the next week or so. So I'll get that out of the house and off the dresser here, please the wife. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so first off, this humidor is amazing. It's uh, absolutely everything I needed, everything I wanted, and it's lived up to expectations. And the uh, Cigar Oasis, I can't talk good enough about it. I mean, it's one of the greatest things, one of the greatest purchases I've ever made in my life. So. Um, Let's get started. So we got some uh, we got some Hoya Reds. This was the very first box of cigars I ever I ever bought, and uh, not disappointed. I love these. These are great. I got these in a uh, initially tried them in a uh, a sampler pack from uh, Cigar International, and they were really good. So I decided to make that my first box. Hoya Reds, very good. Um, I I was on a I was on a uh, a mild kick for a little while there so as you can see I got some uh, Rocky Patels, Connecticut's, I got some Vegas Fives, I got some La Perla Habana White Pearls um, all great cigars um, I think the, the White Pearl is probably my favorite out of all the others um, but I'm kinda losing taste for the uh, mild I'm starting to go to medium and uh, more full-bodied cigars which um, explains my next ones. So here we have some Alec Bradley's um, Prensados. These these are amazing. Um, I absolutely love these. Again, I ordered these off of uh, Cigars International, and it came in a set of uh, I believe it was probably about yeah, it was five of these, and then there was five others, which we'll pull out here in a second. I don't know why I'm taking them out. Um, yes, I still use Boveda packs even with the Cigar Oasis Ultra. Uh, I found that it keeps the, the Ultra from coming on as often and it keeps the Boveda packs in there forever. So, got some 69's in there. I have it set to 70. So, it's like perfect, perfect uh, humidity in there. Alright, what else we got here? We got some more Prensados down here at the bottom. A bunch of more Hoya Reds, right? Because I have uh, I bought a box. And then here we have some Rocky Patel's uh, Decade 10th, an 10th Anniversaries. These are also really good. Uh, box press and perfect size Robustos. I love Robustos. Another Vegas Five. Oh. Um, I know you can see them down here now. This is probably another new favorite of mine. 
um, the CAO flatheads. Um, again, box pressed. These things are awesome. Had my first one on the golf course the other day, and um, it was really, really good. Highly impressed. Great cigar. Um, can't say enough about it. Really, really good cigar. What else we got in here? Alright, so now we have some uh, San Cristobal uh, Revelation. This is also a really, really good cigar. Very hay flavory, um, barnyard type stuff. I watch a lot of reviews on the internet and I see a lot of reviews talking about, oh, it's got a hay taste, hay taste, you know, farm barnyard taste. I didn't know exactly what they meant until I smoked this and I was like, Yep, I know exactly what they're talking about now because this is exactly what it tastes like. Another great cigar, though. Um, let's see what else. So, we have the Perdomo Habano, um, Connecticut. So, again, I was on a light kick. However, I smoked one of these before and I got sick from... Um, from the tobacco, from the nicotine, and uh, I was not feeling it. So uh, my wife got me one of these, um, not knowing what that what that was, and uh, so I have another one here. I will give it a second chance, see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, it goes better than the last time, because I really liked um, the initial flavor and the initial taste and everything. Great smoke output and all that good stuff. So hopefully, uh, different results this time. Alright, some more Flatheads, some more Connecticut's, Rocky Patel's, and then we got some HC's, Whites, again, on the uh, Mild Kick. Um, not bad, not bad cigars, um, just uh, I had a flavor taste, so I've gone a little bit more um, heavier, if you will, in flavor and boldness, so... Uh, there we have it. There is my humidor tour. So all you guys that were begging and jumping up and down and all that good stuff for me to do uh, a tour. There you have it. Um, again, I can't say enough about the freaking Cigar Oasis. It is amazing. Probably one of the best inventions in, in my lifetime. Um, if you don't have one, I highly recommend it. I can't recommend it enough. Um, super, super great product. All right, so let's put all these bad boys back. And uh, all right, I appreciate you watching my videos. If you like it, hit subscribe. Um, I appreciate it, guys. Peace out.